Hey, man, you could plan the Stanley Parable. Oh, that's a big end again. End is the never is never the end is never the end is loading. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is just a. This is the story of a man named Stanley. Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427. <gasps> employee number 427's nah. job was simple. Sorry. He sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor on his desk, telling him what buttons to push, how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. Sounds boring. And others might have considered it soul-ending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, <laughs> as though he had been made exactly for this job. Ah. Uh, Stanley was happy. Yeah, because he was made for the job. That's what I believe. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. This. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour, when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. Oh, no one yeah. showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say hi. Never in all his years Did of never had say had this happened, this complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. But it's scary out there. I want to see. What's in my boxes? Do I gotta walk out there? Hey, Monday. Mondays? 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 I'm gonna say Mondays. Yay! Crawl! I don't know. Well, you know what? You and your jumping. Thanks. Hmm. Four twenty-eight. Hello. Four twenty-nine. Four twenty-nine. No. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oh, someone's computer gone. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. They were stuck. Oh, there you go. Did I turn it off? I guess I turned it off. Um, yeah, I guess I should go to the meeting room. Ooh, mountain view. Look at that pretty that is. Blurry. They just strew papers around. Fine. Where's this meeting room at, guys? But that guy's computer on. I think he's playing solitaire. Oh, there's a, there's a way around. Okay. Oh, what's in here? Mmm, not. It is a Hey Monday cup. Does everyone have that cup? Why does everyone have that cup? When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, it's closed. he entered the door on his left. Would that take me to that room where the solitaire is up? Because that would be better than nothing. Let's try. Oh, your computer's on too. What do you got on? We got a leaf, we got the mountains in, we got a waterfall, a rain, same thing. Oh, this is the meeting. Yet there was not Do not alter without consulting by board manager. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Termination Tuesdays. We bore up. Or bore Wednesdays. Mergers. Weekly review. What to do about four that I do? Don't tell 42 about me. It's on the board. I think 432 knows about that. Ideas and development. Boss's inspection. Legal. 451's private san. Whatever that means. It's only half the thing. Office efficiency. Financial planet. Panic. I mean, <laughs> panic. Um, the IT department has their own section. Why do you need IT department section? 44x. Okay, and 49x. Office party. Ooh, on Friday we got an office party at 6. How's that? This book is too small. A box is too Well, who drew these lines? They can't draw. Group 40. 
What do I want me to do with it? Okay, so these are just all group things. For 4XX. Rip. Prawns. What's this? Not cost efficient. Standardized graphs. 40 wide. Synergized papers. Who moved my desk? Please keep the targets on the piece of blah 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 blah. It's all blurred out. The future was yesterday. Tomorrow is now. Okay. Tomorrow. Complete today's unfinished agendas items right next day's agenda. Reflect. Employee. 417, 91, 31, 05, 16, and Jim. Yeah, sure, Jim. Don't be a number. You just like, should employees, everything's okay. <laughs> no, it is not. Say, calm environment. There's nobody here. For that slide, everyone is unique. You, most of all. Why are we all just numbers? Huh? Huh? Broom, whoa! The broom closet! Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing here, so he turned around and got back on track. There's nothing here! Look at this fucking mess of it! Fine! I don't know why you let me in there. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his <sighs> boss's office. I'm not walking up. I'm going down. Can I get the fire rose? What's this? Light. Twelve. Ooh, the garage. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during work hours. He might be fired. Uh, I don't care. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. Um. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe. He thought to himself, can, can I go back? I am crazy. Oh, someone was getting fired. Blinking mysteriously out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. Where am I now? And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, why couldn't he see his feet when he looked down? <gasps> I had no feet. Doors close automatically behind him wherever he went. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. They're the same damn waiting. rooms. No, Stanley said to himself, this is all too strange. This can't be. Can I go back up? And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming. Yeah. He yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. Nope, okay, his I can't get back up. weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. He is crazy. He thought to himself, I suppose... Oh, 125. Soon, Not bad for a drink crisis. Back to my it's 150 in my work. Job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying and began to gently float above the ground. Yeah, but I still don't see legs. Found himself soaring through space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and standing. Oh, uh, okay. I was like, "Where's the hallway?" How was he remaining so? Oh, but I like that. Well, that was cool. The strangest question of them all no! entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself sooner. Why is there a voice in my head yes. dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking? Can you at least let me through? Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. Stanley is not even talking. Voice, describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts, he thought. Okay, can you at least let me up? Very odd. Out? If this voice Somewhere? All people in Anywhere? Dreams. The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply if it was a dream, himself? how could he but float? Now the stars appear out of nowhere. Responsibility for himself. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Can you let me go upstairs? Now hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. After all, he knew for certain beyond a doubt that this I'm was I'm stuck in, a, in an everlasting loop. the voice not see him float and make the magical talking. stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just... He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. That this was a dream. Okay, how do I so stop? He closed his eyes gently. No, don't do that. Don't, I'm walking. To wake up. 
He felt I was walking. The weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through. If I'm back in that same damn floor, I wish it I'm gonna lose over. it. Let me go Should've back gone up. to my job. I want to go Let see that person's room. You pushing the buttons, please. It had. It's all it has. Over. I think solitaire on it. I want I'm better than pushing buttons. My wife. Oh, what am I? Things I've never been doing. All I want is my life. When you care if no one was there. It's always been. My life is normal. <gasps> I am Everything will be. Fine. I can see the phone. I, I got it just for no reason, okay. General. Besides, let me bug everybody in the house with that. Can I go back this way? Stanley began screaming. Please, someone wake me up. My name is Stanley. I have a boss. I have an office. I am real. Please, just someone tell me I am real. I must be real. I must hey, be it's going red. Everything's going red. Who am I? Who am I? And everything went black. Can I walk? Uh, hello? Hello? This is the story of a woman named Mariella. Okay. Mariella woke up on a day like any other. Uh, we were she in Stanley. She got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. Oh, there's Stanley. On this particular day, her walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town talking and screaming to himself, and then collapsed dead on the sidewalk. And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much. Oh, uh, yeah, he's on the ground. But we're going to consider like. what but is going moment, about his head. She thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. I no one's so normal. They're all weird in their own way and unique. I know. Everybody, you including you, is all you unique. Think. You're all it was unique. Comforting to think and different. And in a not way, unique. Under this man made her feel better. But then mm -hmm. she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose bah, impressions of her were affected. I station, don't care about it. She had no time for this. So it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the Did you ever call for help? And then she turned and ran. No help? Thanks. Thanks for that. Thanks for your help. All right, Stanley. All of his co-workers were gone. We're back at this beginning. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. You see, that's not where he is, but and I want to go into. Um... Ooh, it's all there. When Stanley I know to the left. Two open doors. He entered the door on his left. Maybe the right? Yet there was not a single person there either. But how? A way to get to there? Honestly, it was the, uh, the right door. Stanley decided to go uh, up uh. to his boss's office, hoping he might find an coming to a staircase. Stanley <laughs> walked upstairs to his boss's office. Ooh, decor, very different. Executive bathroom. Can I go in the bathroom? It's executive. I would be. I love the bathroom. I was it. No. Push our buttons. No. Ah, I can't get around this. Get around. Business time. Boring. Fine. When the Stepping into his manager's office, there's no head. He was once again stunned to discover not an indication Ooh. of any human life. Shocked. Unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? Uh -huh. What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. It's got why? And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number, two eight four five. But of course. Stat yet incredibly by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad. Actually, to you said the buttons. Code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. You told me what the code was, you dodo head. Them bun. Sorry. Stupid names. I do it. I wonder if there's anything else. Kangaroos. He's obsessed with kangaroos. 
I'd have a kangaroo, man. Down we go. Bonk. That is not a good thing. When it sparks like that, that is not good. At all. That's just a loading. That's just that's nothing but loading. No wind is near. No listen. Deeper into the building. Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think hey, of can himself, I... to question the nature. Oh, I was gonna say gonna stop there, but now you get gone past like you didn't care. Now, when for years, the next floor, can I stop at the next floor? This question would not go unanswered for long. Smoky. Highlight. Make it all. Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Oh, but our escape is right there. But fine. We'll go to your mind control. Button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Look at how many. T why is there television Oh, That is so gonna be. Stanley thought. Ah, those two. Did he have the strength to find out? Well, I mean, they're turning on. Oh, okay, and I had to go this way. Sorry. Sorry, turn it on because the red light blinking. But apparently not. That's a lot of data. Employee observation protocol. There's a lot of them. You need that many employee observation protocol. Now the monitors jump to life. Oh look, that guy is fired. The number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-worker. That guy has issues. The lives of so many individuals thing. reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. So which one's mine? Can we find mine? This mind There's another one. It's error. It was too horrible to believe it okay, that guy's be fired. True. He's fired. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions oh, yeah, were manipulated to accept it blindly? Uh, no. He refused to believe no, it. No, it's just two people fired. That guy is just blurred out. In someone else's control? Where am I going? Never. It was unthinkable. No, seriously, where are we going? Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? I'm not really going to care to ask. Was the proof, the heart of the operation, controls labeled with emotions, happy or sad or content, walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power <coughs> over another human life. For he would dismantle right, it's the offline. controls once and for all. It's offline, so... I mean, it's not like you can do anything. Um... Can't do anything there, but it's cool looking down there, ain't it? Ooh, button. I can't press the button. Seriously? Fine. Screw you all. You wanna press the button anyways. Ooh, can I press that? There's a button over there. Oh, buttons. I saw buttons. Three. There's a wall. A button up there. Is that a button too? One, two, okay, yeah. Wonder what happens if you put it in the door. Crap, I forgot the button's up. That must be four. Why is four all the way up there? Five is like all the way over there. Good lord. Uh, it's too far to walk. Just to press it at four. Do do do. Now I gotta go all the way over there. Well, uh, five is. Just over there. On the way to the door. Oh, the facility power. I didn't do anything. 
I was hoping it would. Mind control is idle. Awaiting input. Do I wanna do this? Because I'll be part of the mind control then. And when at last he found the source of the room's. I stopped talking. Sorry. What you were saying something? Um. Hello. Miss ya. You what? Blackness and a rising chill of uncertainty. Was it over? I don't know. I can't see. Yes. He had won. He had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself from someone else's command. Freedom was mere Look at the birds! Away. They're birds! And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened... There were, where are the doors at? reflected on how many puzzles still lay unsolved. There was a big yeah, screen? There was no door there? From the machine's grasp. What other Wait, I don't even know where it was. Where did I go? Where did I go? As sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none of this mattered to him. Is that trees? For it was uh, I can't jump this right. Even power that he had been seeking, but happiness. Look, sky, had not blue been sky, white clouds, clouds, green no trees. Is that a house? That's a house. What to do? I know. How to feel. Uh, green fields. Whatever life Stone princess. Uh, uh, shut up. Did a cobblestone pay up? It was perhaps the only um, thing. There's a parking lot. Stanley stepped through the open door. I can't step through the open door. Stanley felt the cool breeze oh. on his skin. The feeling of liberation. Look at it. It's so beautiful. This is like before. bright ass this nice exactly colors compared to the right now, rest of the game. The things were meant to happen. Uh, yes, I'm talking Stanley over the voice. Sorry. Was happy. Good for you, Stanley. But I still want to go in the other room. To help see what was on the game. Oh god, I actually beat the game. Wow, I didn't think that was gonna happen. I played it before, but apparently I never beat the game. Okay. Uh, I don't want to watch it, but okay. Whatever. See what said. Ah! Uh, why am I back here? We beat the game. No. You know what? Screw you. I'm going How to see the right. Sitting there, Stanley wondered to himself. Minutes? Days? We beat the game. How long have we been sitting? We stood very short time. Were turned? He made a note to be more careful with time when Stanley came to a set of two open... This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Are you on the internet? Can you let me in? Fine, fine. Don't let me in. What? Can I get in here? Why can't I get in there? That guy was on the internet. Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully it. constructed room. Stanley simply stood here, drinking it all in. I don't know. I was hoping but to get to, that to get back to business. Stanley took the first open door on his left. Yo, yep. wait, what's that door to go to? Um. Well, there's that. But what's this door? Blueprints. Don't close yet. Do not lie. If you're lying, right now, stop. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. But all I had to do was push a button for a certain amount of time. How could it? Okay. Warning. Do not jump from the cargo lift while it is in motion. It will cause death. Penalty for misuse of cargo lift. 1,000. Penalty for jumping off the cargo lift, but five thousand for jumping off the damn cargo lift. You know what? I'm gonna do it. Looks Perhaps we've got <laughs> his eagerness to prove that he is in control of the story, and no one gets to tell him what to do. Exactly. Stanley leapt from the platform and plunged to his death. Good job, Stanley. Everyone thinks you are very powerful.
Really? Where am I at? Ah, closer to that. When Stanley came to a set Screw of you. Room, this was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. No, I don't. Perhaps he wanted to stop Go by away, the boys. employee lounge first, just to Bye, boys. It. Wow. Nice. Yes. Sure. This room. But eager to get back to business, mm, Stanley no. the first open door. I'm going to go up left. to lift this time. I'm going to show you. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Okay, lift. Go. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been. You know, these boxes are really high up. What's in those boxes? There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Someone you've forgotten about. Who the hell are you talking about? Stop trying to make every decision by yourself. Now, I'm not asking for me, I'm asking for her. I don't know who her is. This is it, Stanley. Your chance to redeem yourself. To put your work aside. To let her back into your life. I don't know what She's you're talking about. Waiting. I don't know who. Ah, oh, it's dark. Okay. That's her, Stanley. You need to be the one to do this. No, screw to that. Reach out to her. If you can truly play. Oh, no, 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 no. You can't. Did you just unplug the phone? No. Now that wasn't supposed to be a choice. How did you do that? I don't know. You actually chose incorrectly. I didn't even know that was possible. Let me double check. Paper's wrong. No, it's definitely here, clear as day. Stanley picks up the phone. He's taken to his apartment where he finds his wife, and the two pledge themselves to one another. Music comes in, fade to white, roll credits. Don't care. Not picking up the phone is actually somehow an incorrect course of action. How is that even possible? Well, I can't plug it in, so... Oh, these decisions oh, well. supposed to mean anything. I don't understand. How on earth are you making meaningful choices? I have my own mind. Wait a second. Did I just see... No, that's not possible. I can't believe it. Can't believe what? Why have I not noticed it sooner? You're not Stanley. You're a real person. <sighs> I'm in Stanley's body. I can't believe <laughs> I was so mistaken. This is why you've been able to make correct and incorrect choices. And to think I've been letting you run around in this game for so long. If you've made any more wrong choices, you might have negated it entirely. Whatever. So we're running a circle. Even the most basic safety protocol for real world decision making. Or did you not grasp the severity of the situation? Well, I won't what? have that kind of risk on my watch. I'm going to stop the game for a moment so we can educate you properly on safe decision making. I don't care. World. Please observe this helpful instructional video. Ah, oh, goddammit! Choice. It's the best part of being a real person. But if used incorrectly, it can also be the most dangerous. For example, in this scenario, a hypothetical real person named Stephen has a choice. He could spend years helping improve the quality of life for citizens of impoverished third world nations. Or he could systematically set fire to every orphan living in a 30 kilometer radius of his house. Why would you set fire to orphans? What you make? Remember that unlike here, the real world makes sense. And at no time should you make a choice that does not conform to rational logic. If you find yourself speaking with yeah, a person that person no who doesn't have sense to get this, you follow the That person is not real. Allow the person to finish their thought, then provide an excuse why you cannot continue talking. A your partner and practice saying, My goodness, is it 4.30? I'm supposed to be having a back sack and crack. What the heck is a back sack and crack? Ah, oh, are we eating? Excellent. Making yeah. choices on a regular basis is the best part to a healthy decision making process. Yes, that's how they make decisions. Professionals recommend making at least eight choices per day. Do you make more than eight? Less? And finally, um, if you begin to wonder if your nope. choices are actually meaningful oh, yeah. and whether you'll ever make a significant contribution to Not the world, caring. just remember that in the vast infiniteness of space, your thoughts and problems are materially insignificant. I don't care. At this time, your instructor will guide you in an exercise to test and reinforce. I'm sorry, I'm not paying attention to this. Ah, welcome back. You may have noticed that this room has begun to deteriorate as a result of narrative contradiction. 
But not to worry. Oh. Now that you're properly informed on good So which was the exit? That exit or that exit? Or that one. Or that. Minutes ago, or that. See what the correct thing to do would have been. This way, please. Can't I answer the phone? Well, screw you then. I won't answer the phone. Can I drive the forklift? Oh, sorry. The Buddha. Can I drive it? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Can I? Oh, yeah, I can't jump. You really had to fence that in. You were afraid I was gonna jump or something? Now that we know your choices are meaningful, we can't have you jumping off the platform and Screw die. Screw you! Imagine the main character dying senselessly halfway through the story. That story would make no sense at all. Well, what if we he had health packs? As soon as possible before or, the narrative or contradiction gets any worse. The, um, Unfortunately, those, it seems those place things well that make you come back to life. Yeah, that's sensible, right? And I'm not paying five thousand. Ha 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 ha. Ah, it's card only. Screw you, card only. Fine. Who's in this door? Fine, don't go through the door. I won't go through the door. I won't. What if I turned on the mind control? Almost there. You'll take the door on the left. Back to the correct ending, the story will have resolution once again, and you'll be home free in the real world. Oh, uh, what? I am. Technically. But. Now remember, all you need to do is behave exactly as Stanley would. That means choosing responsibly and always putting the story first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Fine. Are you happy? You don't say anything. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office. Hoping he might find an answer there. Oh, I can't even go downstairs. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Jerk. All right, let's go to the bathroom. Oh, it's not even bathroom anymore. What room is that then? Take the bathroom away. Is that like a mark on it? This is different office. Stepping inside his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Oh, he shot a panda! Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this until he saw the door with a voice receiver next to it. Surely behind this Hello? door lay all the answers to his questions. And beyond all probability, he knew the passcode. He had seen it on his boss's computer just last week. Night Shark 115. Was this the code to open the door? Would it Night work? Shark 115. There was only one way to find out. Stanley had been trained never to speak up, but now he would draw from within himself the courage to face the unknown. He drew a sharp breath and then spoke the code. Go fuck yourself. Oh. Night Shark 115. <clears throat> Stanley spoke the code. Night Shark 115. Oh, uh, 115. He spoke it into the receiver right there on the wall. I see the receiver, goddammit. Night Shark 115. I'm sorry, is there a problem? Yeah, I can't speak. You didn't mishear me, did you? Mm -mm. Please speak the code into the receiver. That don't work. Otherwise, we can't get on with the story. This is a crucial step. You speak a thought in the receiver. Whatever I do, I don't do anything. Okay, fine. You're not gonna do it, but you know what? It's pretty humiliating to bring you this far, only for you to suddenly decide you have better things to do. I asked you for this one single thing. You asked me for a lot of things. The kind of respect Stanley shows for his choices. He knows what it it's means. It's too bright outside. Story, I don't see anything if else besides brightness. If you what I had to show you, then why did you come here? You had a choice, you know. You could have gone through the door on the right. You could have done whatever the hell you wanted over there. Why did you come this way? Speak. Say something to me. Explain yourself, you coward. I think he broke. Just behave exactly as Stanley would. 
That means choosing responsibly and always Screw putting the you. first. I'm quite sure you'll be up to the task. Just follow my lead and you'll be fine. All right. <clears throat> when Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Oops. No! Why did you do that? Ooh. Quickly, hurry back in the other direction. Perhaps we're not too late. Fine. Makes no sense anyways. Oh, it's ruined. You, I can't believe, after everything we talked about, that you... My story! You've destroyed my work! Um, Why? So how? The projector is still working. What did you get out of that? What did you think was so special about seeing the game undone? Left here like so much garbage. It, well, it's worthless. Oh, the chairs are so what little. Look at them. Do? Even if there were a way to continue, would it be worth it? To know that my story is now incorrect? How can I go back to that? I can't erase that knowledge. I'll have to live with it forever. Reliving its oh, possibility well, forever. Ooh, oh, I couldn't live that way. Is it better to shut the game down entirely? To willingly destroy all of my work? I don't know. What's the answer? There's the rails. What do I do? What do Pretty I do? stairs. No, I have to. I have to shut the game down. No! To. That's a long chair. Hey, hey. Hey. No. No. I'm in the game. I'm still here in the game. Well, there we go. Okay. Oh, I'm here. I'm still here. Here in this pile of rubbish. With you. You. Who thought you were so clever. Ah. Now look where we are. My entire game is destroyed. It was the only thing in the world that was mine and you run it into the ground. What? Did you think that would be funny? Yes. You just had to see? Didn't I impress upon you how important it was to be like Stanley? No. He actually knows how to do what I tell him to. He understands that if I say to do something, there's a damn good like reason a for it. There's like an attic window. That thought hadn't even occurred to you, had it? It's like, like that there's a so world much, like, burned outside into of you. That. You're a child. Nope. Oh. Amateur. My story. <laughs> If you'd just gone through the door on the left, you would have seen it. There was a whole underground facility. You would have destroyed it and been victorious. It would have been so perfect. I already was. I worked so hard on it. I tried so and guess hard. guess what? Oh. I was going to say. Mm. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Stanley? Hello? Are you... Is everything okay? Stanley's not there. I need you to make a choice. I need you to walk through the door. All right, whatever. Well, thank you for playing the Stanley Stare Pearl. My camera is, 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 is broken in a way. I'm just going to leave it there. While he's uh, going off with Stanley, you can't do anything because I'm above him, not in him. Ah! But yeah, this is Stanley Pearl. I did actually finish the game. I did that. I finished the game. I guess I should have done that. One more point. Do some fly. No one fly in my room. But anyways, this was the Stanley Parable. It's a stupid game. I've gotten more achievements than I did before. Two more achievements than I did before, which is one. Uh, uh, now to never play it again. See if we can get the five year achievement. Because literally, just don't play for five years. No one's really gotten that much. It's pretty hard to get. But we're going to try. Alright, but anyways, yeah. If it does, if you like this, I hope you have a great day. See you in the next video. Peace! having trouble. Poor narrator.